Everybody, Lead Farmer 73 here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make salt water drinkable. Wow. One of the first things you're gonna need and one of the most important things you're gonna need is something to distill the water with. I have my own water distiller here. You can have any kind you want. They come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. Just make sure that you get it from a reputable dealer. The next thing you'll need is a heating source, whether it's gas, propane, or fire. Today, I'm gonna to be using my rocket stove. Another thing we're gonna need is lots and lots and lots of cold water and ice. That helps dramatically. First thing we're gonna do is get the rocket stove started. I start by lighting a little bit of tinder. This is just straw. We'll come back when we get this rolling. I think we got her going now. This goes out to my buddy, SEI Family Garden Channel, Sapper Gardener. Always got your recipes going. This is for you, brother. Fire. While our fire is getting started, let's get the tank set up. First thing we're gonna do is take our ice bucket out. Usually they come looking something like that. Now we're gonna fit the copper tubing to connect the two. Okay, we're gonna run a little bit of vinegar through the line to clean the lines out. Close up our top. Now I'll be setting the pot on top of the rocket stove. I have two paint cans on this side to hold up the ice bucket. And now we're just gonna bring that up to temperature. We're just trying to clear that line out down here because inside of this copper tube, looks like this is the copper corrosion. I'm gonna add an extra tube on here in a jar so we can watch this closely. Just like this. We'll come back when the line starts to clear. Okay, we're a little past 200. We should start seeing something soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little cool water. This part is not necessary, but it works way better, better for me. This helps cool the, cool the line down faster for me. This is going to shoot cold water up into this pot here that's cooling down the coils. We just go hook that up right here. And then that water is going to come back down, back into the bucket. Just like that. In this bucket, I have a pump. All this is gonna do is flow up and fill this thumper with cold water, which is going to condense the gas, the um, vapors down back into a liquid. And then the liquid is going to end up in, in the jar down here. For power, I will be using the Jackery 500. We can see how that works. We just cut that on real quick. See, we at 99%. We are running. Now, when that reaches a certain height, it's gonna reach up here and it's gonna go right back down that tube. We can control the flow of that with these knobs here. If it's coming in too fast, we can slow it down a little bit with the knobs. See, it's going way too fast, so I can slow that down. I like that. I like my top hole sipping. You'll hear it in a second. 
right there. That's what I want to hear. So I'm going to open it up a little bit. Because that's what I want to hear. Because when I stop hearing that, that means I'm about to overflow. That's a good sign. That's my own little indicator right there. It's running through and it's coming out green. See that? You focus more right here. That's where it's collecting it. That's cleaning all of that. That vinegar is cleaning all of that out of the line. Leaving that green liquid in there. That's just corrosion, copper corrosion. So we're going to finish heating it up. And we're going to come back at it. So while our system is running, I'm gonna mix up, this is about two cups of salt. I'm gonna pour that, and this is two gallons of water. I'm sorry, that's one gallon of water. And I'm just gonna mix that up. That's even more concentrated. I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna go get another gallon and put it in there too. Another gallon of water. I'm trying to get the rest of the salt out of there. All right, it's time to check my system. As you can see, we got green liquid in there. Our pipe should be pretty clean by now. So we're gonna go ahead and start running our salt water. Put about a gallon in there. Don't worry about nothing getting dirty. It's going to all come out in the wash. When we start bubbling good, we're going to get that ice in there in this black bucket so that ice water can run and cool those pipes down so we'll get a, a better condensed liquid. Now that's the finished product of the dirty line. See the green liquid? That's that old corroded copper inside. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Okay, we got our temps up and we starting to run now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some ice in this bucket here just to make sure that my worm box stays cold. A bag of ice in there. I drop a couple. What we got here is pure distilled water. See, it's not green in that tube no more, it's clear. And what it's doing, the water turns into a vapor, the salt stays behind, the water vapor rises, goes around the tube, gets cooled off and condensed back into liquid, comes, comes out here as a liquid and goes into our jar. That's gonna be pure distilled water, drinkable water from salt water. We looking pretty good. So I'ma come back and we got us enough to drink and we gonna test it out together. Fire still running hot on the rocket stove. Temperatures is right, pressure is right. Everything looks good. Look at that, pure, clean water in that tube. Watch this. Look at that, pure clean, drinkable water from all that salt. 
I poured over two cups of salt in that bucket and two gallons of water. That's almost undrinkable. Running good now. Had to make a couple adjustments to the rocket. It's getting a little late, so I'm gonna call it a day. Um, we're not done distilling our water, but we got enough right here to taste. So let's do a taste test. I'm gonna take my jar off of here. This is our distilled water. I'm gonna set that to the side. Okay, family, we're almost done, but it's one more step that we have to do, which is take a coffee filter, and you wanna pour your water in there. The reason you do this is because your copper tubing can let out little particles, little co co uh, copper particles in the water that you can't quite see. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. It's just better to just run it back through a coffee filter. And you'll be surprised sometimes at what you'll find. That's better than Berkey water right there. All right. Guava. Like I told you, works every time every single time. All you gotta do is make sure your equipment is cleaned out with the vinegar. I taste a slight hint of vinegar. Slight hint of vinegar. But zero salt. Zero salt. There you go. Change your salt water into drinkable, pure distilled water. It's that simple, family. See that? You can do that too, all right? I hope you guys learned something here because I'm gonna finish that batch in the morning. The other a half of that gallon, I'm gonna finish that in the morning and we're gonna do this again, all right? Left from 73, I love you and I'm out. Oh, by the way, if you don't believe me, try it. All right, Leo Farmer 7-3, I love you, and I'm out.